I'm Stu Cullen, I'm from Melbourne, indie pop musician. I play keys, guitar and I sing. I had a piano in the house when I was young, so I've been playing piano since I was little. I couldn't think of doing anything else, to be honest. Hi, my name is Sam Blair. I'm a classical musician. I play the bassoon and I'm originally from Texas, the United States of America. When I was in sixth grade, I went to go try out for band. And the band director went back and handed me a bassoon reed and I blew into it and made a sound and it's like, great, you will play the bassoon. For me, the idea is completely outside of what I do. Like, I'm normally sitting in my room writing pop songs and to be put with a classical musician, it's going to be interesting to see what we come up with. Sam, how are you, man? Hey, Stu. Good, Good to see you. you. How was your flight, man? I'm here, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think he seems down to earth and he's keen, I'm keen. I think it's going to work. What I think classical music lacks is an appeal to a more modern now crowd. To take my classical music training and to pair that up with a contemporary musician, I think that's a really cool idea and I'm anxious to see what comes of it. Sounds great, yeah, man. Cool, yeah. yeah. I've never taken my bassoon anywhere remotely outdoors and this was sort of the extreme setting up on all of this. It's pretty fantastic. I showed Stu a little bit of what I can do. I showed him a didgeridoo effect. I need you to sort of cover up the top and just inhale. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, so give it a shot. It's cool. Now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounded crazy. It's like it's really quite bizarre, to be honest. We got up early this morning, went out to a field with a big balloon gone in it and floated <laughs> over a parliament house in Canberra. Yeah, a very normal day at the office. I don't think anyone's ever done anything yeah. like that before. To, to be... In a hot air balloon above <laughs> a city, yeah. playing bassoon and keyboard. been amazing every day. The whole experience is just once in a lifetime amazing. We flew from Canberra to Brisbane and then we went straight to the Australia Zoo. Bring this hand up and cuddle him on his back. Here you go. He's awesome. I imagine walking one of these around in Melbourne. <laughs> we were walking the Tasmanian Devils but really they were sort of walking us. Oh there he goes. Oh he's running. We took a ferry over to Fraser Island and went four-wheel driving into the forest. Oh, that does look beautiful. Oh, wow. Awesome. There's this lake on this island off of Queensland, and it's amazing. It's the ideal definition of paradise. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe since the whole thing is collaboration between you know, classical and contemporary. Maybe start at solo bassoon, and then when you come in, all of a sudden it shifts. Because a synth especially really grounds it into a modern sound, yeah, you know? Yeah. We started to find this sound that we really liked and wanted to explore more. So the start of the bridge will be to see, like... I wasn't 100% happy with what we were coming up with at the start of the week, but I think we really nailed something today with the new sound and the running vibe of the song. And it's one, two, three, four, three. We finally came up with good progressions and, and things. So now that we have an actual road to follow, we can start putting all the interesting things to see along the way. That was unreal. That was so awesome. It was great seeing where we just were as well. Seeing that from the sky was amazing. We, um set up in the rainforest on Fraser Island in a spectacular area. The sun glistening on the keyboard, it was beautiful. I had this song and I just couldn't write the lyrics. I had the song and the melodies, but the lyrics just tore me up for a while. I guess I was slightly scared of doing some new lyrics, but I mean, we got some time alone in the forest and it really just kind of flowed out. We didn't really want to write specifically about Australia as such, but it turned out that we're talking about um, kind of savouring a day and making the most of everything, like moving forward, but stopping to smell the roses once in a while. I think the 
journey inspired the lyrics. We would go from place to place, and there's only so many pictures you can take of a beautiful landscape, and you just want to save that day that you're in. The song is just about appreciating what you've got when you've got it.